Hey internet, how's it going? Hope everybody had a happy fourth. Yeah, feeling a little funky today, so I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna share with you guys my upper body workout routine as requested by my friend Arson. Excited to show you guys how I work out and what I like to do at the gym. Let's go. Alright, so for the rest of this video, I'm just gonna do a voiceover because it's a little difficult to talk at the gym and work out and it's really loud. So I like to start with a prayer, an intention that my body will become strong from this session, and I like to get right into the warm-up with some wide pull-ups. Squeezing the back at the top, getting the internal flame nice and hot, the furnace, and then I'll do some leg raises, warming up the core and the abdominal muscles. Also do throw in some round the world windmills just to get things all nice and heated. And then I like to move into a superset, starting with 25 pounds. I like to do shoulder raises because everybody likes big shoulders. So driving with the elbows, exhaling on the raise. And I like to do about 15 reps and then move right into push-ups with no break in between. After 10 push-ups, I'll go straight into the shoulder press. Keeping the feet firmly planted, moving nice and slow. And then right after the shoulder press, I'll do bicep curls. And all four of these exercises are back to back with no spaces in between. And then I'll raise the weight and then do it again. 12 reps. Bring the pain. and then back into the shoulder press. Make sure to breathe, go slow and steady. Make sure to hydrate in between each set. It's important because the muscles need water to assimilate. And after this, I like to stretch, passive observation, feel the muscles, feel your body. And then the final round, go super heavy. I'll just do this shoulder press with the heaviest weight. And you go as hard as you can until failure. Don't rush it. After shoulders, I like to move into back. I'll start with the lat pull down. It's really important to squeeze the back at the very top, pushing forward with the chest. Remember, momentum is not a muscle. You got nice and slow, slow and steady. People often rush, and it's better to do it slow so you have that mind-muscle connection, mind-body. Be completely present as you're doing this. Stretch in between poses and just feel your body. Just breathe. And always go heavy at the very end. The muscles grow when you go all the way until failure. And then I'll switch over to the seated row with a close grip. And just do it again. Three rounds, usually 12 reps. And then after that, I like to move to the front of the body again to do pectoral flies. I like using cables because it keeps your body, this is the thing called time under tension. So you really want to push and push your chest up at the top, squeeze, and sometimes I like to cross the cables so you get that super, super pinch. And then right after this is kind of a superset. I'll come to my, to my knees, and then I'll do a bicep curl. Squeeze tight, bring your pinkies inward so you get the full bicep flex. Add more weight, and do it again. As you do three rounds, 
12 reps each. Put the opposite leg in front so you can balance the body. This one's a super burner because you're going chest to, chest to biceps and by the end you're, you're feeling it. And then it's time to move to the bench press. The infamous bench press. I just started getting to this recently and it's really important to focus on the negative. People always rush through this as well and you nice, it's good to take it nice and slow. Increasing weight in between each set, making sure to have the arch in the lower back. Keep your feet flat on the ground. Bring the bar to your chest. Just feel the whole exercise. There's no reason to rush. And then in between sets of bench presses, I like to do core. Just add core in between every exercise. I'm gonna add more weight and do it again. Add a little more core. 12 more reps. Remember, slow and steady. Breathe, exhale on the press. Next, I like to go into the decline bench press because it works a different area of the chest. And same thing again, three sets, increase the weight with each set. And then from chest, I go back to the back again, doing rear delts. Sometimes I like to use the machine on this because you don't have to focus on the form as much and you can put more weight on. Press the chest forward, squeeze the back, drive with the elbows. Feel your muscles working, mind-body connection. And then after the back, I go back to the incline bench press to work with the other area of the chest. And same thing again. Three rounds, increase the weight with each set. Bring the bar down to your chest. Make sure your arms, your forearms are perpendicular to the ground. All right, let me go into abdominals. Weighted, the twist, and the leg raises. I like to start with tricep dips. I never used to be able to do this. I did would be able to only do one rep when I started working out. Now I can do like 15 in a row. Go right to leg raises. And then to the weighted crunches. Weighted crunches is really how you build definition in your abdominal muscles. Go back so you can feel the stretch, feel the squeeze. And then after the weighted, you go straight to the twist. You gotta do heavy with the twists if you really wanna build your obliques. Remember to do both sides. And then two more times. Increase the weight. 15, 20, 30 reps each. Usually after this, an hour passes by and then I'll eat my protein bar, my plant-based garden of life. I love this stuff so much because it has tons of protein. It's really clean. And I'll also have a smoothie at the gym. Also plant-based protein with oats, bananas, creatine, all the good things. Plant power. And then last, finally, I like to do the final chest exercise. This is one of my favorite machines here. And I'll sit sideways to start. And you can really, really feel the squeeze in this one. It's like full contraction of the pecs. Remember to do both sides. And then after you do both sides, you want to sit in the center and then do this exercise, both arms together. Squeeze at the top, press your back against into the chair. Add more weight with each set. I like to do 15 reps, 15 on each side, and then 15 together. Every piece will be shattered, for matter. I like to hold my chest so you can really, really feel it contracting. Add more weight, this is the final. Go really hard. And then 
then afterwards, go back to the locker room, check your progress, congratulate yourself, feel good, get those gains. And then after I like to relax the muscles, increase the blood flow and get into the dry sauna. I like to sit here for 20 to 30 minutes just to get everything relaxed and meditate for a little bit. And that's about it. Um, give thanks for the gym. Feel gratitude that there's a space for you to work out all this wonderful equipment and yeah, just full of gratitude. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that workout vlog. This was for my boy, Arson. He's been asking for workout routines and some people have been asking on Instagram too. So happy to share, happy to show the upper body routine. I vary it from day to day. It depends on what I'm feeling. Sometimes I'll stay twice as long. Sometimes I'll add five sets, six sets, just whatever I'm feeling at the time. I hope you guys got some value from it and I hope you try it sometime. And don't forget to subscribe. You know the deal, hit the bell, whatever. Love you guys a lot. Uh, maybe I'll share a leg routine sometime soon. Let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see next. Maybe we could do like an arm day. I usually do full body every day. I know a lot of people do separate chest from back, triceps and biceps, they do it on different days, but I found that doing full body four to five times a week, I get really, really sweet results so everybody is different so do what works for you i'll see you guys on the next vlog maybe i'll share uh, what i eat in a day with the one meal a day diet so Mwah. ciao